56 Maltese facts every owner should know. Number 1. Maltese dogs are hypoallergenic and produce low levels of dander. Their white coat is made of hair, not fur, reducing the likelihood of causing allergic reactions. Number 2. Since the Maltese coat is made of hair, it will continue to grow throughout their life, as opposed to fur. And this is why Maltese dogs need regular grooming appointments, which could be quite hard on your wallet. Number 3. But because their coat is made of hair, you can also style it in different ways. The long standard cut is popular in the show ring, while most Maltese can be found in the curly puppy cut. Other popular hairstyles include the teddy bear cut and the top knot. Number 4. The Maltese is one of the oldest dog breeds in the world, with a history that can be traced back at least 2800 years. For reference, the Bible was still a work in progress when these guys were enjoying the laps of royalty. Number 5. Some people, including canine researcher Stanley Corrin, even theorized that the Maltese might be the first breed specifically bred for companionship. After all, older breeds like the Saluki and Greyhound mainly served as hunting dogs. Number 6. Some say that the Maltese dog was developed on the Isle of Malta in the Mediterranean Sea. The American Kennel Club states it is likely that the Maltese was introduced to Malta by the Phoenicians, who ruled the Mediterranean before the rise of Greece. Number 7. Another theory says that the breed was developed in Italy, while yet another story tells that they were originally from Asia. With a breed this ancient, it's simply impossible to pinpoint their origins. Number 8. Ancient Greeks in the 4th and 5th century BC admired the geometric beauty of the Maltese. They called the breed the Melite dog and created valuable artifacts depicting the breed on ceramics while also making tombs for deceased Maltese dogs. Number 9. Greek philosopher Aristotle also referred to ancient Maltese as perfectly proportioned, notwithstanding a diminutive stature. Number 10. According to the testimony of Greek biographers, Aristotle's contemporary Diogenes even referred to himself as a Maltese dog. Number 11. Maltese dogs also thrived in Egypt once they made their way there. Hieroglyphics show that they were given to harem women as companions. Number 12. The Maltese breed was believed by ancient Egyptians and later Europeans to have healing abilities. They would place a Maltese dog on the pillow of an ill person, leading to one of their nicknames, the Comforter. Number 13. In the Roman Empire, the Maltese dog became a popular status symbol and fashion accessory among aristocrats. Roman women considered themselves properly dressed only when accompanied by a Roman lady's dog, aka Maltese tucked in their sleeve or bosom. Number 14. Throughout their long history, Maltese dogs gained many other names like Ye Ancient Doggy of Malta, the Spaniel Gentle, and the Maltese Terrier. Number 15. The Maltese was also often mentioned in Roman myths, poems, and fables as a symbol of loyalty. According to a legend, when St. Paul was shipwrecked in Malta, he healed the father of the island's governor, Publius. As a token of gratitude, Publius gave Paul a Maltese dog. Number 16. In one of Aesop's fables, there is a story that illustrates the contrast between the pampered life of a Maltese dog and the difficult existence endured by its owner's donkey. The donkey grew jealous and tries to act like the dog to receive similar treatment, only to be beaten by its owner. Number 17. Maltese dogs have been highly valued throughout history. In the 1500s, a single Maltese dog was sold for around $2,000, which would easily be over a million dollars in modern times. Number 18. Modern Maltese can cost anywhere from 600 bucks to a couple grand depending on factors like age, pedigree, and rarity in the general area. Number 19. After the fall of Rome, Chinese breeders saved the Maltese breed from extinction during Europe's Dark Ages by crossing it with their native toy breeds and reintroducing a more refined Maltese to Europe. Number 20. The Maltese arrived in the British Isles sometime during the early 16th century, and by the end of the century, they were a favorite pet for noble and royal ladies like Queen Elizabeth I, Mary Queen of Scots, and Queen Victoria. At the time, they were known as Maltese Terriers. Number 21. Queen Victoria even commissioned painter Edwin Landseer in 1837 to paint a portrait of her mother's dog named Quiz next to a Newfoundland dog. The portrait is named the Lion Dog from Malta, the last of his tribe. Number 22. Other famous artists who have included Maltese dogs in their work include Francisco Goya and Sir Joshua Reynolds, who featured these dogs in their portraits of beautiful women. Number 23. During the 17th and 18th centuries, efforts were made to drastically reduce the size of the Maltese dog breed to that of a squirrel, which almost led to its extinction. To rescue the breed, breeders introduced poodles, miniature spaniels, and East Asian miniature dogs into their breeding programs. Number 24. According to some sources, this crossbreeding led to so much variation variation in the Maltese that several new breeds were formed. They suggest that these variations may be the direct ancestors of breeds like the Bichon Frise, the Balinese, and the Havanese. 
Number 25. The Maltese belongs to the Bichon family of toy dogs, who are typically kept as companions. Other breed in this family include the Bichon Frise, the Polanka, the Cotan de Tullier, and the Lochin, to name some. Number 26. In 1798, Napoleon conquered Malta and became the military governor, and according to one legend, he is said to have chosen the best Maltese dog on the island to present as a gift to his wife, Josephine. Number 27. Modern Maltese dogs are no longer directly related to the ancient dogs from Malta due to extensive crossbreeding over time. Therefore, the term Maltese dogs now refers to two different strains of canines, the ancient dogs from Malta and our modern fluffy companions. Number 28. From 1869 to 1879, breeder R. Mandeville had great success with his Maltese dogs at many dog shows in England. His kennels were renowned for providing a top quality bloodline for future Maltese breeding. Number 29. In 1877, the first American dog show, known as the Westminster Kennel Club Dog Show, featured a white dog labeled as a Maltese lion dog. Number 30. The AKC registered their first Maltese in 1888. Over time, the breed's popularity grew steadily, eventually making it to the top 15 most popular breeds in the 1990s. Number 31. In AKC's 2022 popularity ranking, the Maltese ranked 38th, although they ranked as high as 27th in 2015. Number 32. Early Maltese dogs had various coat colors, but since the 19th century, the breed standard calls for a pure white coat. Modern Maltese dogs continue to have an all-white coat, but according to the AKC's standard, light tan or lemon on the ears is permissible. Number 33. Interestingly, the AKC breed standard for the Maltese dogs does not mention any disqualifying features or penalties, which is quite unusual considering how some other breeds have some really strict rules to adhere to. Number 34. The Maltese is classified as a toy dog that weighs no more than 7 pounds at maturity and they only measure 7 to 9 inches at the shoulder. Number 35. There exists an even smaller version of the Maltese called the Teacup Maltese, weighing only around 4 pounds. However, they are more susceptible to genetic disorders and have higher health risks. Number 36. Maltese are notoriously picky eaters, and there can be many reasons behind this fussiness. Feeding them a diet specifically designed for their needs usually is the best option to make sure they get the best nutrition. Number 37. Although the Maltese has a cute black button nose, it can also turn pink for various reasons, like limited sunlight, dry and cold air, and allergies. Number 38. Maltese dogs are specially prone to sunburn and have an increased risk of skin cancer due to their white coat, which offers minimal UV protection and the absence of an undercoat that would protect their skin. Number 39. A condition known as idiopathic cerebellitis has gained the name White Dog Shaker Syndrome because it is almost exclusively found in dog breeds that have solid white coats like the Poodle, the Bichon, and the Maltese. It causes inflammation in the cerebellum, affecting your dog's mode of movements like posture, balance, and coordination. Number 40. Maltese dogs, being a small breed, have smaller jaws, which makes them more prone to several dental issues. One of them, the worst ones are said to be late weaning retained teeth, tooth infections, and tooth decay. Number 41. Maltese puppies only start growing their milk teeth at around 6 weeks old, which is quite late compared to the usual 3 weeks of other breeds. As a result, they are usually weaned around 6 to 8 weeks old and can only start eating regularly at around 9 to 10 weeks old. Number 42. Normally, Maltese dogs live for around 12 to 15 years. However, there are rumors on the internet of a Maltese live to be over 20. No official records of this dog have been ever found though. Number 43. Maltese dogs are highly people-oriented and easily trainable, thanks to their long history as companions. They respond well to commands, especially when rewards and praise are involved. Number 44. On the flip side of that people-oriented nature, Maltese dogs are especially prone to separation anxiety. While adult Maltese can tolerate being alone for up to 6 hours, if they are accustomed to it, puppies shouldn't be left on their own for more than 2 hours. Number 45. Although they may not excel at it, like some other breeds, some Maltese dogs can be trained as service dogs to assist with tasks such as opening low cabinets, retrieving small objects, alerting to medical emergencies, and most importantly, providing therapy support. Number 46. Maltese dogs make excellent guard dogs despite their small size. They are fearless and quick to respond to perceived threats and will even get themselves into risky situations sometimes, so you gotta keep a watchful eye on them. Number 47. Thanks to their pure white coat, Maltese dogs can develop reddish tear stains around their eyes, muzzles, and toes due to factors such as blocked tear ducts, allergies, infections, or neglect from their owners who don't regularly clean the stains. Number 48. Maltese dogs are skilled jumpers, particularly when participating in agility competitions, but they can enjoy 
injure themselves when jumping, whether that be from the couch or your arms, so make sure to keep a gentle but firm hold on them. Number 49. Maltese dogs may experience episodes of reverse sneezing that can last from 1 to 10 minutes. During these episodes, the dog rapidly pulls air in through their nose. This is generally not harmful, but you gotta consult your vet if you have any concerns. Number 50. The Maltese has a unique and graceful way of walking, often described as floating or gliding, thanks to their lightweight body and gentle, light steps. Number 51. When American businesswoman Leona Hemsley passed away in 2007, she left her Maltese dog named Trouble, a trust fund worth $12 million in her will. The amount was later reduced to $2 million because $12 million was seen as obviously excessive. This decision was criticized and ranked as the third dumbest moment in business by Fortune magazine. Number 52. The Guinness World Record for animal most photographed with celebrities is held by a Maltese named Lucky Diamond, who was snapped with 363 three public figures, including Bill Clinton, Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, and Snoop Dogg. Number 53. Popular American actress Marilyn Monroe was also a dog lover and had many canine companions throughout her life. In her final months, she was accompanied by a Maltese named Math, who was gifted to Monroe by her dear old friend Frank Sinatra. Number 54. Other famous celebrities who have owned Maltese dogs include Hale Berry, Tori Wilson, Lindsay Lohan, and the late Anna Nicole Smith, who named her Maltese Marilyn due to her admiration for the iconic actress. Number 55. Maltese dogs are also a popular choice in advertisements due to their adorable and photogenic qualities. They can be seen in commercials promoting pet food, grooming products, and even pet insurance or adoption campaigns. Number 56. One British Maltese dog named Lilliput has been trained to become a canine fashion model. She has reportedly modeled for clothing brands, magazines, and newspapers, and has even appeared on television shows. According to her owner, Lilliput even has her own nutritionist, trainer, and homeopath to keep her camera ready at all times. Do you have any additional facts to share about these adorable dogs? If you do, let us know in the comments below.